What is up, Troubler Nation? I'm your host, Killer Keemstar. Let's get right into the news. Our first story today is coming from Darv, a YouTuber who has done many clickbait things, some annoying things, and a lot of free giveaways. Back on April 18th, Darv hit over a million subscribers. However, if you go to his YouTube channel today, you'll notice that he's been terminated for violating YouTube's community guidelines. Now, I actually reached out to some important people to see why his channel got taken down, and they told me because he was running scams, doing fake giveaways. In every single one of Derv's videos, he had this little clip rolling. Roll it. Wanna join my free gift card giveaway? And subscribe to my channel, like the video, and turn notifications on. And finally, tell me in the comment section below. But where are the winners? Seriously, wh where are the winners to the, the free gift card giveaway? So I was told that he's not getting his channel back for that reason. However, Derv said this. YouTube said three of the videos were due to violence. And also, I got a copyright strike, a community guidelines, and a copyright at the same time. And with Derv's channel being down for doing fake giveaways, another channel that does fake giveaways has went into hiding. We're talking about Exility. He privated all his videos. Also in the news, that clickbait motherfucker, Shark Tail bitch, Lance Stewart is at it again. But this time, he's being stalked and harassed by ghosts. Three days ago, he uploaded the scariest night of my life, Ouija board. No more Ouija board, I'm done. Paranormal sleep caught on camera, real ghost. Demon dragged me out of my bed, real paranormal. And these videos are taking off, getting tons of views. Well, just t t time out, time out, time out. Ghosts aren't real. But let's just for a second, give Lance Stewart the benefit of the doubt. Let's see this haunting, roll it. <laughs> I don't even understand what my hand is doing. Oh, get away from me. What the fuck? Hey guys, I'm, I'm being raped by a ghost. Help, help, I'm being raped by a ghost. Oh no, no, bad ghost. Also in the news, Jake Paul is getting a lot of heat from the hit song, It's Every Day Bro, with that Disney Channel flow. And we actually have some behind the scenes footage of this amazing music video being produced. Roll it. YouTube in six months, never done before. Pass all the competition, man. PewDiePie is always oh, being pumped. We'll see you in the past. But now, 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 listen, listen, listen. A lot of people on YouTube are making videos criticizing him. One of those being Jacqueline Glenn. She uploaded a video titled, Why I Hate Jake Paul, It's Every Day Bro Song featuring Team 10 official music video. And Jake Paul's fans, the Jake Paulers, all right, are attacking this girl. They've been posting all over Twitter demanding that people flag down her video criticizing his song. But one of the biggest YouTubers is now pointing guns at the Jake Paul, and that is your boy Rice Gum. Rice Gum uploaded a video yesterday titled reacting to Jake Paul's song with his ex-girlfriend, Elisa Violet. Now, long story short, Elisa Violet used to be dating Jake Paul and uh, Jake Paul kicked her out of the house for some fucking reason. And in that everyday bro song, Jake Paul takes digs at his ex-girlfriend, Elisa. He says this. Oh, I kicked them out if they ain't with the crew. Yeah, I'm talking about you. You begging for attention, talking shit on Twitter too. But you still hit my phone last night. It was 452 and I got the text approved. Wow, Elisa Violet must have texted some horrible shit at Jake Paul. Wrong. This is what she said. Roll it. Don't tell me you texted him yesterday at 452. Is he talking about you again? You, you did text them. Yeah, I said, I will always be here for you, even if you don't want me to be. 
And you're being nice to him. I was, I wanted to... Why is he being so mean to you? So now, Rice Gum and Elisa Violet are making a diss track on Jake Paul, and it's coming out Joe's sex. Ladies and gentlemen, that's it for the news today, but guess what? My merch is out. You guys have been demanding this forever and ever and ever. And let me tell you, I'm just kind of shocked because Fat Cut, AKA Anything For Views, AKA Chad, his friend made this shirt, and I was like, this is garbage. Nobody's gonna fucking want this. And I tweeted it out, and over 2,000 people wanted the shit. So I teamed up with Cool Shirts to have this t-shirt produced, and I uh, I released it on Twitter two days ago. And it's selling like a god, church. So if you guys want to pre-order the Keem Meme shirt, uh, the link is in the description. Uh, get on that shit. They're selling fast. Ladies and gentlemen, that's it for the news today. Guys, if you love Drum Alert, make sure you slap a like on it. Drum Alert Nation, now over 1,800,000 subscribers. Truth, and I just dropped some new merch, and it's selling like a god church.